Cellar spiders, often nicknamed daddy long leg spiders, are among the most commonly encountered arachnids inside human homes. With their long, delicate legs, small bodies, and tendency to hang in corners, basements, and garages, they are familiar sights to many people around the world. However, with their eerie appearance comes a persistent myth that cellar spiders are extremely venomous but unable to bite humans due to their small fangs. This idea has been repeated countless times, but how true is it? To answer this question, we must look at the biology of cellar spiders, their venom, and their interactions with people. Cellar spiders belong to the family Folzide, a group of spiders found across the globe. They are often confused with harvestmen, which are also called daddy long legs in some regions, but are not the same. Harvestmen do not produce silk or venom, whereas cellar spiders spin loose irregular webs and do possess venom glands. Their spindly bodies and habit of shaking their webs when disturbed make them look fragile, but they are actually efficient predators in their small ecosystems. To understand whether cellular spiders are dangerous, it is important to know the role of venom in spiders. Venom is primarily used for subduing prey, not for self-defense against large animals like humans. Most spider venoms are specialized for insects and other small arthropods. In fact, even the most feared spiders, such as black widows or recluse spiders, do not actively seek to bite humans. Biting is usually a last resort. Yes, cellar spiders are venomous, just like nearly all spiders. They use venom to immobilize small insects and arthropods that get caught in their webs. Their venom is effective against flies, mosquitoes, ants, and even other spiders. However, the key point is that their venom is specifically adapted to work on tiny prey. When it comes to humans, cellar spider venom has virtually no effect. Researchers who have studied these spiders confirm that their venom is extremely mild and not harmful to people. It does not cause necrosis, systemic reactions, or dangerous symptoms like those associated with more medically significant spiders. Another important question is whether they are even capable of biting us. The myth suggests that their fangs are too small to penetrate human skin. In reality, cellar spiders can bite if they are handled roughly, but it is very unlikely. Their fangs are tiny and weak, meaning they are not well suited to piercing our thicker skin. On the rare occasion a bite does occur, the result is usually no worse than a minor scratch or a faint redness that fades quickly. In other words, a cellar spider bite is far less significant than a mosquito bite, both in terms of pain and potential consequences. The myth that cellar spiders have the most toxic venom but cannot bite humans is widespread, yet it is not supported by science. The origin of this misconception is uncertain, but it may have spread due to their success in killing other spiders. Cellar spiders are known to attack and eat species such as hobo spiders or even black widows, which gives them an undeserved reputation as dangerous themselves. People likely assume that if they can kill other spiders, their venom must be incredibly potent. In truth, their success in hunting other spiders has more to do with their web-spinning tactics and agility rather than powerful venom. Far from being dangerous, cellar spiders can actually be helpful. By feeding on pests like mosquitoes, flies, and moths, they act as natural pest control. They also reduce populations of other spiders that might be less welcome indoors. For this reason, many people choose to let them stay in the corners of their homes rather than removing them. Additionally, they are not aggressive. Cellar spiders do not seek human contact and will almost always retreat or drop from their web when disturbed. Cellar spiders are venomous, but their venom is so mild that it poses no threat to humans. The myth of them being deadly but unable to bite is just that, a myth. In reality, their bites are rare, harmless, and medically insignificant. These spiders are gentle, shy creatures that prefer to keep to themselves while providing the hidden benefit of keeping household pests under control. So the next time you see a cellar spider dangling in the corner of your basement or garage, there is no need to fear. Instead, you can view it as a quiet ally in maintaining a balanced indoor ecosystem.